Hello everybody, Little Simmer here, and I am back. Um, I've been gone for way longer than I care to admit. Um, just a lot of life happened, and I kind of I wanted to play some other games. Um, but I've been, you know, I've been sitting on this house for a while. Um, I started building it, like, so long ago, like, four or five months ago. <laughs> Um, but I just, I don't know, <laughs> but I, I sat back down, um, a couple nights ago and I finally finished it and I really love how it turned out. It's like a, I, I built this house in Appaloosa Plains and it's like a, a country farmhouse, um, type of house and it's really pretty. I, I, <laughs> So I built a barn, but I don't put anything in it. It's strictly there just for decoration. <laughs> um, but if you guys want to put something in it, you can. Um, but yeah, it's it felt really good. It felt really good to get back into the into the Sims building life. And uh, yeah, how's everybody's you know day holiday? whatever day the this is when it comes out. Um, my holiday was really good. We went to Ohio for for Christmas. We spent it with my family because that's where I'm from. Um, I live in Illinois now with my boyfriend, but um, I moved here three years ago to be with him. And it was honestly the best like choice that I've ever made. Um, but yeah, we. It was really nice to see my to see my family. Um, didn't get anything too crazy, you know. I got a carpet cleaner that I've been wanting for a long time, and so that was really fun. And then I got. It's so funny. So I love dogs and animals and stuff, and so my dad got me a a blanket with like a bunch of puppies on it. And my mom also knows that I really love dogs, and so she got me two different blankets with puppies on it. So now I got three blankets with puppies on it. <laughs> and they're all different. Um, what did you guys get for, you know, Christmas and stuff? And, you know, what did you guys do for, for New Year's? Um, I had to work on New Year's Eve uh, and on New Year's. But, um, you know, I... I was I was off before midnight to, you know, ring in the new year. I didn't watch the ball drop or anything, uh, which I kind of wish that I had. But it it doesn't really feel, you know, it's the fourth at like two a.m. when I'm recording this voiceover. Um. But yeah, how's everybody else doing? I'm really hoping that. 2024 is better than 2023. My 2023 wasn't too bad, um, but it could have been a lot better. Um, but yeah, it's, I've, you know, just been working and playing games and taking care of our dog and, you know, that kind of stuff. Nothing too exciting. Um, this house is really like it's really pretty i love it i love it a lot and i'm really excited to share it with you guys um it's it's very like it's a very big lot and so i really wanted to fill it up with things like with a lot of things um and i had like a like a preconceived you know, notion of what I wanted the house to look like. Um, I think I, I built this house like once before, like off camera, just to like, you know, I do that a lot with like big houses. Like I'll build it once off camera. And then like, once I know like, all right, this is what I want it to look like. Like this is good. This is like, you know, this is how it's gonna, you know, look and work. Then I'll, you know, I'll bulldoze the lot and then rec actually record it, which I guess that's kind of like, it's like not very, 
efficient because you're building the house two times. Like I could have just recorded it the first time that I built it and then like cut the rest of the crap out. <laughs> um, but a lot's been happening since the last time um, I talked to everybody. Um, you know, the whole like a hundred people that still watch my videos. <laughs> Which is fine. Like I, I still have fun. Like I'm not really doing this for the, for the views. I just really love, you know, building houses and whatnot, and sharing them with you guys. Um, I was gonna say something. What was it? Um, crap. I forget what I was gonna say. Oh yeah. Um, about a month ago. I decided that I was gonna, you know, try to eat healthier because I I did not eat very well at all. Like there was a point in time where I didn't drink like water at all. I just drank soda and like juice and stuff. Which like that stuff has like water in it, but it's not good for you at all because it's soda and sugar and caffeine and crap. Um and so I made the decision to start the process of um, cutting soda completely and I've tried it before where I just would cut cold turkey and I always like failed at it and so if anybody is trying to you know stop drinking soda and you know stuff like that and drink more water you have to start by um, just cut it first for the first like two weeks or so this is how it was explained to me. You have to um, cut down the amount of soda that you're drinking first. Like cut it down until, so if you're drinking like five or six sodas a day, um, cut it down to like one or two a day. And then eventually like after, after two weeks, then you can stop like cold turkey. That's what I did. Um, but yeah, like my caffeine addiction was really bad. It got to the point where, um, like as soon as I woke up, I had to have one because my head, I had like a caffeine withdrawal headache, like as soon as I woke up. Um, and then, so one day I woke up and I didn't have one. And this, this was after the two weeks that I, um, sorry, my nose is stuffy and I don't know why. Um, it was after the, like, I, ha I had, like, cut down, like, the amount of soda that I drank, and I also went to diet. Um, I drank Diet Dr. Pepper instead of regular Dr. Pepper, and I guess I woke up and I didn't have a headache, and I was like, you know what, let me see how long I can, let me see how long I can last without a soda with, before I start getting a headache. And I went all day without one, and then I was like, hmm. And maybe this is a sign. And so it's been a month now, and I haven't had a single soda, and I'm really proud of myself. And yeah, that doesn't mean that my diet is, that my actual food diet is any better. Like I literally had, we had meatheads for, for lunch today, and then I ordered Subway for dinner. And like I am not eating healthy at the moment but I think we're gonna go to the grocery store tomorrow I think I'm gonna try to eat healthy again that's like that's my new year's resolution is to you know eat healthier and lose some weight and stuff I swear every time I go to do a voiceover like I've been fine all day today and as soon as I go to do a voiceover my nose decides to be stuffy oh man but yeah, let's talk about this house. I've been rambling on about myself for too long. Let's talk about the house. It's not very big, as you can tell. Like, of course, I built it on a, like a huge lot, um, which I guess I could have chose a smaller one. But actually, let me let me take a drink of my water real quick. Maybe that's what I need. Hold on. Okay, hopefully that helps a little bit. I hope you guys didn't hear me gulping my water. <laughs> I have this big, like, 40 
um, ounce water bottle, like hydro flask thing. It keeps my water really cold, so that's nice. But anyway, <laughs> we're still working on the outside. Um, looking back, I wish I would have put in more flowers, because I think it's literally just that flower bush right there. Like that little bit of flowers, and then the rest is like trees and um, you know, trees and bushes and whatnot, but I do like how this house turned out. It's uh, like I said, it's it's not the biggest. I think it's I think it's two bedrooms, two bathrooms. Um, a small family could live here if you have like a like a six person household with like four dogs. <laughs> Maybe you could keep the dogs out in the barn maybe but I wouldn't if you have a big family I wouldn't recommend putting them in this tiny cottage um I thought about naming it I think I'm gonna just name it like country farmhouse or something like that I thought about naming it like country cottage but it's not really a cottage it's more of the you know farmhouse because it actually has more than one room and I actually decided to use OMSP it's, I didn't go too crazy with it. Um, there was just like a couple of decor, like decor items that I wanted to place freely. And so that's what I'm doing here. And I think I use it once. Once inside, I want to say. Um, but I think we're just about done. Like, also looking back on it, like I wish I would have done more with like the outside of the barn. Like this, this kind of reminds me of, um, of a place that like my grandma and grandpa owned when I was growing up. They didn't have like a barn that big. They had like a, like a short, long garage instead of a barn, but it was still like, it was a big, like a big piece of land. And I actually thought about um, building my, my grandma and grandpa's house, because, you know, I still remember what it looked like, like, from memory, because I was there so much, um, but yeah, this house came out really nice, so I decorated, I decorated all of downstairs, but I didn't decorate any of the upstairs, and there is a bathroom on the, on the main floor, which I love in a house. Like I hate him. I hate having to have my get my Sims go upstairs to go to the bathroom. Um, but there aren't any bedrooms on the bottom floor because I wanted to kind of separate the living area from the sleeping areas. Like, and I feel like having a bedroom downstairs is a luxury that only like big, you know big freaking huge houses have um but yeah we're decorating the house now and i was really proud of how the decor like the dirt like the the deck i'm having a really hard time speaking um but yeah i i guess i guess love how this house turned out um, I used these, like, really old-looking couches because, you know, this is kind of an old-looking house. I wanted it to look not necessarily cheap, but I wanted it to look, um, you know, kind of like maybe an old, like, an older couple lives here with, like, their granddaughter or grandson or something. Um... But yeah, I guess I wanted everything to look rustic, and that couch looked like kind of rustic to me. I don't know. <laughs> um, there are a few um, custom content pieces um, in this house, but if you download the house, um, you should get all the custom content that comes with it. Like I always say in almost all my videos, there is a video if you go to my main channel. Um, the very first video that's on my on my channel on my if you click on my name is my how to install custom content video. And so I'm not gonna sit here and explain to you how to download the house because I explain it there. And so if you 
if you don't know how to, you know, download houses and download custom content, just, you know, watch my video. But if you download this house, you should get all of the custom content that comes with it. Um, it just, it was just a lot of, I used a lot of, uh, like rustic looking stuff. I want to say I used a lot of pet stuff, but so far that plant thing is the only pets thing that, um, that I put in there so far. This kitchen, yeah, yeah we're in the kitchen right now and it is so nice. Um, when I built it before, I used a different stove and it looked more modern. And I think right now we're lo I'm looking for a certain table that I couldn't find. Yeah, that one. I really liked how that one looked. And I really like those cabinets. I'm pretty sure these cabinets and cupboards... I'm pretty sure that's base game, if I'm not wrong. But the, I think the most, custom, or the most custom content is definitely in the kitchen. <laughs> and... You shouldn't have an issue with, you know, getting your sims to cook. Because I'm pretty sure there's, um, pretty sure there's more than enough space. And I, I did not, I did not bother to cut out me saving my game. Um, because it literally, it literally takes two seconds to save. Um, but yeah, like I do put, there is stuff on all the cow on like all like on all the cabinets but oh my goodness why can't i stop s sniffling and i guarantee as soon as i stop recording i'll be fine it's literally this this kind of stuff only happens to me when i start recording a voiceover like i've been fine all day i have no idea what's going on um but yeah you see that like the cabinet that's beside the or the, the counter that's beside the fridge. Um, there's like, there's a space there. So when, if your sim wants to cook, she should be fine. Um, but yeah, I think so far we haven't used any more of OMSP. I think I literally just use it to put a flower pot on the, on the table beside the couch. Um, yeah, that, there's a little jump cut right there. Um, when I built this house before, I did a really cool thing with that table that's in that little nook right there, but I can't, but I could not remember which pieces that I used. Um, we only have a couple more minutes. We have like a minute left. So I think I'm going to leave you guys here with some music and stuff. Um, the download link for this house will be in the description bar below. And I will see you guys in my next one. I'm really happy to be back. So I will definitely be keeping on with the videos. Alright, I will talk to you guys in the next one.